While all eyes will be on the sky for April's total eclipse of the sun, your real focus should be protecting your eyes. Consumer reporter Steve Noviello shares the best way to make sure your eclipse viewing glasses are the real deal. Uh, this is going to be the eyeball, right? April's total eclipse of the sun will last just less than four minutes and 30 seconds, but eye damage from improper viewing could last a lifetime. You certainly uh, don't want to be in a situation where you're looking at the eclipse with no uh, eye protection. Dr. Thomas Nyman says while the sun is no brighter or more intense during the eclipse, we are prone to look at it more. It gives you a false okay that saying, oh, I'm looking at the sun, but it's blocked, so it's not as big of a deal. In reality, it's a very big deal for which you will need very specialized eye protection. Your sunglasses won't cut it because they only filter light. Properly rated eclipse glasses are essential eyewear. So it blocks out a lot of the UV rays because the UV rays are the ones that kind of damage that can go uh, straight to the back of the eye and kind of burn through the fovea causing those long lasting effects. The tissue those UV rays will damage seen here on this scan atrophies and does not get better. See, there's a chance that you know it's going to be a lifelong. It's why eclipse enthusiasts have been pouring into stores like like hotcakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're selling about 20 a day. Jackson's Home and Garden in Dallas, where the prep work to procure eye protection started after a sellout during last year's annular eclipse. I placed an order for another thousand in December, and it took until late February for them to come in. Um, I might be able to get in one more order, not sure. From a pair in cardboard for a couple of bucks to a pricier and more permanent plastic pair. Can't see a thing. Each set has one essential element. Yeah, the certification is right, right on there. So to ensure your glasses are properly rated, ISO 12312-2 is the number you're looking for. Without it, this is your retina. Dr. Nyman may be looking for you. In Dallas, Steve Noviello, Fox 4 News. If you wear prescription glasses on a regular basis, you should wear eclipse glasses closest to your face with prescription lenses over them.